Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video, I'm going to show how to dual boot Windows 11 on your Mac, along with macOS Tahoe, using Parallels. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Running Windows 11 on a Mac via Parallels Desktop creates a virtual Windows environment, allowing you to use Windows applications within macOS. Talking about the requirements, the system requirements for Parallels Desktop are pretty basic. Parallels supports both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs, allowing you to harness the power of your Mac. Meeting the minimum system requirement will allow you to run most applications, including Microsoft Office, accounting software, trading software, SAP, MATLAB, and more. However, the best performance for graphics-intensive applications, high loads, and running multiple virtual machines requires the following hardware. Although Intel Macs do support Windows as a bare metal, however, if you're an Apple Silicon user, this ain't an option. This is because Windows is simply not supported on Apple Silicon Macs as a bare metal installation. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac and want to use Windows 11, Parallels is the official method to do so. It's not only convenient, but also approved by Microsoft as an official method for installing Windows on Apple Silicon Macs. Now, download the latest version of Parallels Desktop. Use the link from the description. You may need to enter your email to download the free trial. After downloading the file, open the downloaded image and double-click on Install Parallels Desktop and proceed with the installation. Allow necessary permissions to directories and locations when prompted during the installation. You'll also need to enter your administrator password when prompted. Now, it's time to install Windows 11. Before you jump in, let me tell you that Windows 11 works great in Parallels Desktop, but there are some limitations. Here, you can see the listed limitations with Parallels Desktop running Windows 11. If these limitations aren't much of a hassle and don't impact your workflow with what you need, you can continue with this guide. Let me also mention that, besides running Windows 11, you can use other operating systems like Mac OS, Ubuntu, and various Linux distributions in Parallels. It's not limited to Windows only. Now, click on Install Windows. Once you click, Parallels will download a copy of Windows 11, create a virtual disk, and even set up the OS for you. Everything will be done with one click, and Windows 11 will be installed automatically. However, you can customize the hardware resources as per your requirements, depending on the availability, after the installation is complete. Also, the installation will take a while. This process usually takes 15 to 20 mins to complete. Time may vary depending on your hardware and internet speed.
During Windows installation, make sure that you allow the necessary permissions when prompted and do not interrupt until the installation is complete. When you get the Parallels Desktop Trial dialog box, you can either continue with the trial or just enter the product license key and activate Parallels if you have already purchased the software. A huge thanks to Parallels for providing us with a license key. After activation, sign in to your Parallels account. If you do not have an existing Parallels account, you can create one for yourself. After signing in to your Parallels account, Accept the Windows license agreement, and you're ready to use the installed copy of Windows 11. And now everything is done, and Windows is now running on Parallels Desktop. Save money and time by investing in Parallels Desktop to harness Mac flexibility across environments and eliminate the need for additional hardware. Use the code MW35 to avail an additional 35% discount on your first purchase. Try Parallels today. For more info, check out the link in the description. So that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.